Hello everyone, it's BC Alpa here and today I'll be showing you how to fix high ping issue and online lag for the game NBA 2K20 in few simple steps. So these steps will help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection while playing this game and most of the steps will be similar to the steps I've shown you in my videos in which I've shown how to fix online lag on any other game. Except the port forwarding step, as port varies from game to game. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one and this one will be clean booting your PC. So what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made a 4 minutes guide on how to do so. So make sure to watch this video, I'll provide you the link of this video in the description of this one. So make sure you watch this video. Clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. It's a really important step. Make sure to clean boot your PC first. Second step is again a really important one and it really helps a lot of users. What you have to do is search for CMD and go to your command prompt and here search for ping, not search, you type ping 1.1.1.1 and press enter. Now let it calculate the average ping value for you and here it is, it is 9ms for 1.1.1.1 and now search ping space 8.8.8.8 and press enter let it calculate the value for this one and here it is 26 ms as you can see the difference is really significant here the ping value is 9 ms and here it is 26 ms and for you it might be 8.8.8.8 which would, would be better in my case it's 1.1 so whichever is better for you you have to change to that dns value now i'll show you how to change your dns server now search for network and go to view network connections once you open it, select the network which, which you are connected to right now. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi so I'll double click on it. And here I'll go to its properties. And here go to Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it. And here obtain an IP address automatically and select use the following DNS service address. So for me better one was 1.1.1.1. So you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. For me it was 1.1.1.1. And here type 1144. So for if for you the DNS server 8.8.8.8 was better, so what you have to do is you have to enter here 8.8.8.8 and in the second line you have to enter 8.8.4.4. So just replace 1 by 8 and everything will be the same. Click on OK, click on OK again and close this. It will surely help you in getting better ping and resolving any online lag issues. Now let's proceed to the third step. So in the third step, we'll be forwarding ports. So first we have to know what ports are used in the game NBA 2K20. So Google NBA 2K20 ports. And go to this first link by portforward.com. And once you'll click on it, you will be redirected to this page. Scroll down and go to NBA 2K20 Steam. It means for PC. And here you can see TCP and UDP ports. Now what you have to do is, you have to search for firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. And once you are here, you will see a screen and here you have to go to inbound rules. And here you have to create a new rule. And in new rule, you have to select port and click on next. And here you have two options, TCP and UDP. So first let's select TCP and copy everything in front of TCP port. Copy everything here. So if you don't want to visit this website, I'll provide you this in the description, both the TCP and UDP ports in the description. So you can just copy it from the description of this video. So once you have copied them, paste them here, click on next, allow the connection, click on next, select everything here, domain, private, public, next and give it the name NBA 2K20 and finish. Once you have done it, create another rule, here select port, click on next, now select UDP this time and select everything in front of UDP and copy it. Once you have done it, Paste it in front of specific local ports, paste it here, click on next, allow the connection, domain, private, public, everything should be selected, next and give it the name NBA 2K20 and press enter. And once you have done it, you have done port forwarding, I will surely help you in reducing any kind of online lag in this game and will help you in getting the best out of your internet connection for this particular game. So it will surely help you but if you are still facing this issue then proceed to the last step. This step will be flushing DNS and later I'll refer you some videos which might help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So first go to your command prompt again and go to command prompt and here search for ipconfig 
आई टी सी ओ एन एफ आई जी स्पेस स्लैश फ्लश डी एन एस वन सेव टाइप दिस प्रेस एंडर एंड यू कैन सी सक्सेसफुली फ्लश द डी एन एस रिजोल्व कैश वन सेव डन एट योर डी एन एस हैज बिन फ्लश एंड इफ द फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप्स दिन वर्क फॉर यू इट विल श्योरली हेल्प यू Once you have done it and you are still having some lagging issues and not because of your internet connection but because of your PC specification then what you can do is you can download a game booster and the game booster I recommend is Razer Cortex game booster and it is not a paid promotion at all it is just my personal experience that I find Razer Cortex to be the best one so I have made a guide on how to download and install it and how to do advanced setup of this game booster for gamers only so it is a bit complicated so make sure to watch this video I'll provide you the link of this video in the description and I have made another video specific to Nvidia users on how to do Nvidia control panel best settings for best gaming experience so watch this video too and these two videos will help you in improving your pc's overall gaming performance so once you have watched these we two videos and perform the four steps i'm sure you'll see a significant difference in your gaming performance so i hope this worked for you if this worked for you please leave a like also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day